Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 139 for Wednesday, March 1st, 2017. Audio recording. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Tracker, a coin-sized tracking device that pairs with your smartphone and keeps you from losing your most valued possessions. Visit thetracker.com right now and enter promo code ARENA to receive a free Tracker Bravo with any purchase. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Our lives are filled with moments. Sometimes those moments, they pass you by and you wish you had recorded it in some way. And sometimes, well, you know, inspiration strikes and you need a way to capture that inspiration before it too passes you by. This is especially true for me in terms of writing music, but also those super random thoughts, those ideas that can magically appear out of thin air. I've noticed personally that if I don't jump on them right then and there, they're going to be gone and lost forever. And sometimes the best way for me to do that is by using an audio recording app. There are a number in the Play Store. If you go searching, you'll find them. So I thought I'd spend some time dissecting a few of them for you in today's roundup. First up, a simple and completely open source audio recording app, and it's called Easy Sound Recorder. Dead simple. And to be completely honest, it doesn't get any easier than this one. The app's interface is super light, super clean. You just tap that material design influenced microphone button down below and kick off the recording. The time begins to count and that audio is recorded to the device as you would expect. And it's saved in the sound recorder folder on your device's storage. Now I can swipe to the right and I'm going to be shown all of the audio that I've recorded using the app. I can tap in any one of those files and preview the audio from them right then and there. Testing one, two, three. I am testing the audio of Easy Sound Recorder. This is the quality of the audio. I can also tap and hold that file if I want to rename it, maybe I want to remove it from the list, or as you would hope for anyways, you can share it out to any location or any app on the device that will receive it. And that is it. Literally, that's it. No bells and whistles, except, of course, for the bells and whistles that you record. Uh, the quality is actually pretty low. It's recording it as an 8 kilohertz mono AAC file with an MP4 extension. But for quick and dirty, it gets the job done. The code is on GitHub for anyone who wants to work it into their own creations as well. And best of all, it's totally free. Find Easy Sound Recorder in the Play Store now. Here's a feature-rich audio recording app, but like everything good in life, some of the best things aren't necessarily free. However, the app called Parrot Voice Recorder has a sufficient amount of offerings at its basic level without the need to pay. Parrot offers instant access to recording controls by tapping the mic to kick things off. You can see there the waveform is actually generated on screen in real time while you record that kind of makes the audio nerd in me super happy. I can pause the recording or I can stop it altogether, uh, which takes me to this expanded information screen where I can give a name to the file and even share it out, plus some extra options below. I also have quick tap access to the quality and file format of my audio before I record with support all the way up to 44 one kilohertz uncompressed wave files, though those files are big, so be forewarned. There are also some neat recording effects, including an auto pause function for pausing when silence is detected over a certain amount of time. There's also automatic gain control for keeping the volume level throughout and noise and echo suppression. And there's a couple of quick record widgets that you can drop on your home screen to make things even faster. Now that's all for free. There's an upgrade to a pro version within the app that includes expanded features like the ability to record calls on demand, though seriously, only do this with the permission of the person on the other end of the line. Also, you can schedule audio recordings and include those in your calendar app and sync recordings to cloud services like Dropbox or Google Drive automatically. Pro starts at $1.49 per month 
all the way up to $19.99 for lifetime access to those features so you don't have to pay per month. Otherwise, Parrot is totally free uh, for most of the basic functions with no ads to clutter the experience. Find Parrot in the Play Store now. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that is Tracker. So you've been there before, right? You're looking for something. It's not under the couch. It's not in the cupboard, uh, not on the table. Your meeting's in 20 minutes. You can't find your keys. I mean, we've all been in that situation before. But now with Tracker, you never have to worry about losing things again. The Tracker Bravo is a coin-sized device constructed with anodized aluminum for the thinnest, most durable tracking. You can locate misplaced keys, wallets, bags, computers in seconds. You just pair Tracker to your smartphone, attach it to any item, and you'll find its precise location with the tap of a button. And that's all there is to it. Lose your phone? Well, you can press the button on the Tracker device or ask your Amazon Alexa and your phone rings even when it's on silent. Your phone can track up to 10 devices at once. You can also customize two-way separation alerts so you're notified before you leave your item behind. With over 4.5 million devices shipped, Tracker has the largest crowd GPS network in the world, so your lost item shows up on a map even if it happens to be miles away. The Tracker app records its last known location on a map, and then when another Tracker user comes within a 100-foot range of your item, you'll receive a GPS update of where your item is located. And with a 30-day money-back guarantee, there's no reason not to give it a try. So stop losing your stuff today. Go to thetracker.com and enter promo code ARENA. You'll get a free Tracker Bravo with any order. That's T-H-E-T-R-A-C-K-R.com, promo code ARENA, for your free Tracker Bravo with any order. All right, up next, a sound recorder that happens to be one of the few apps to work as a standalone app on the new Android Wear 2.0. Here's a flexible sound recording app that gives a lot in the way of customizing the look and feel of the interface and has some features for wearables. Recorder Sound Recorder Pro starts things off with this simple action screen that automatically begins scrolling an active waveform of audio passing through the mic in your device. Now keep in mind that it isn't actually recording yet, but it shows you that it's ready. Once I want to record, I just tap the mic and the captured audio that you see there turns the waveform into full color mode. That's the stuff that's actually being captured. I can, of course, tap to pause or tap the check mark uh, to file that recording away on my internal storage if I'm done with the recording. Swiping up from the bottom, you can see I have direct access to any of the recordings that I've made where I can manage or even share them out, delete them from the device, all that kind of stuff. There are sound quality profiles in the side slide out tray here for jumping the quality up or down, depending on if I want a recording that saves on storage or a recording that focuses on resolution and fidelity. Tapping into the profile button actually brings up a wider list of formats and qualities that I can choose from, and I can go into any of those and totally customize them. There's a cloud upload function that automatically shares your recordings to your Google Drive account, which is a very nice free feature, and a few nice widgets for the home screen for instant recording. Now, for a $2.22 upgrade inside the app, you can get the Pro version that removes the ads from the interface and also includes a huge list of additional themes to paint the experience in any way that you choose. Finally, Recorder, as I said, is Wear 2.0 compatible, meaning the app can run directly from the watch, separate from being connected to the phone. Find Recorder Sound Recorder Pro in the Play Store now. Here's an audio recorder that does something very unique, and it could save your bacon someday. Rewind Reverse Voice Recorder is a way to make sure you never miss a magical moment. You might not know when to hit record, but that doesn't mean you should risk missing the audio altogether. Rewind actively captures audio from your microphone and saves it temporarily to your device in the background. It's capable of retaining up to 30 minutes of history, uh, which you can select when you tap the microphone floating action button down below. I'll set this to 10 minutes, for example, and then hit to listen. Now from this moment on, Rewind is actively capturing to the buffer of 10 minutes in the past. When something fantastic happens, I can simply tap the stop button and everything in the past 10 minutes is then retained in an audio file on my device. This could be extremely useful if you don't want to have to sort through hours and hours of audio after the fact. 
Basically, I can tap the recorded file and preview it from there. And if I like it so much, I can favor it and it shows up on my favorites list. A 99 cent upgrade inside the app unlocks even longer buffer times, all the way up to three total hours. And there's an instant listen widget for spur of the moment time travel. Find Rewind Reverse Voice Recorder in the Play Store now. Now that last app might make you feel like a bit of a time lord. We all need superhuman superpowers. So what can I say? That's my gift to you. Use those powers wisely. Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv. You can also post those to the subreddit, androidapparena.reddit.com. The recorded show plays every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Today. That's a twit.tv slash live. And new episodes will always appear later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell. I'll see you next week in the arena.